Hey everyone, it's Daryl. Welcome to the channel. There are a ton of companies out there that rely on Microsoft Excel to help manage various aspects of their business. By preparing for potential questions about Microsoft Excel, you vastly improve your chances of impressing that hiring manager and landing that job. So in this video, we're gonna go through a couple of questions that you can expect to see in a job interview regarding Microsoft Excel, as well as the answers too. Let's get started. So for our first question we have, what is Microsoft Excel? And this is a general question that could be asked of you to see what your level of understanding is with Microsoft Excel. To answer this question, Excel allows users to store, organize, and manipulate data of various different sizes. And if you wanted to list some use cases for Excel, you could say things like data entry, data management, accounting, financial modeling, and pretty much anything that needs to be organized or analyzed. What we have on the screen right now is an example of using Excel to store and organize a list of employees at a company. You can see that we have columns for different pieces of information about each of the employees and the employee's record is stored in each of the rows. So moving on to the next question, this question is, what are some examples of data formats in Excel? This is a more detailed question that could be asked to see if you know what the different data formats are available in Excel. To answer this question, you can pick pretty much any one of these data formats up here or within this dropdown. So for example, I have a production schedule for car parts in the first quarter of the year. Let's say that I want to include a comma in these production numbers to help see the data better. So what I would do is select the data and then click this, this um, comma style and it will add a comma to each of the numbers and it will add some decimal places and we can format that further by reducing the number of decimals to zero. Now we can see those numbers a little bit better. Lastly, we can format this percentage of Q1 total as a percentage by highlighting the cells and then clicking the percent style data format. So our next question is, what's a pivot table and how is it used? Pivot tables are a very useful tool that companies use to view their data. To answer this question, a pivot table is a way to summarize data and view the data in different ways. Using the pivot table fields, you can pivot data and potentially gain insights on things that weren't apparent by looking just at the original data set. Now in this example, we have a large set of sales data by country and by segment. We can summarize this data using a pivot table to gain some insight into the data. So the way that I'm going to create this pivot table is by selecting one of the cells within the data set, then going up to the insert tab, and I can either create a pivot table from scratch, or I can use one of Excel's recommended pivot tables. I'm gonna use a recommended pivot table, and let's just pick one of the preset pivot tables available. So this first one shows the sum of the profit by country. So let's create that. So Excel has created a pivot table for us showing the countries and its profits. What's powerful with a pivot table is we can move one of the fields, so let's say segment, and put it in this columns, column area and now we're able to see the country and the segments profits. This type of information would not be straightforward and apparent just by looking at the original data set. Now for our next question, what's an Excel macro? An Excel macro is an action or a set of steps that you can record and run as many times as you want and whenever you want. Macros help you to save time on repetitive tasks involved in data manipulation and data reporting that are required to be done frequently. So in this example, I have a list of salespeople and their respective sales numbers by quarter for, the, for a given year. What you'll notice is that we also have some quarterly subtotals shown here, as well as a yearly total. Now let's say that we are given the task 
of deleting these quarterly subtotals. Now, it would be easy to just delete these columns manually, but you know that next year, you're probably going to have to do the same exact exercise of deleting the quarterly subtotals for next year. So in this case, it would be a good idea to record yourself and create a macro so that you can apply that same macro next year. So the way that I'm going to create this macro is by going to the view tab and then under the macros section, I'm going to record a macro of deleting the quarterly subtotals. So in this name, let's just call it delete and then click OK. And then it's going to record ourselves deleting these quarterly subtotals. Once we're finished, we'll go up to the macro section and then stop the recording. So moving forward, let's say that we're given a new data set for 2022. We have our quarterly subtotals still there and we want to apply the macro now. What we can do is go up to our macros section, view the macros, and then run the macro that we just recorded. And just like that, the quarterly subtotals are gone. And our last question for this video is, what are the benefits of using functions in an Excel spreadsheet? So to answer this question, functions are extremely useful to perform calculations as well as looking up information from other data sets. In this example, we have a data set containing the number of vehicles that a dealership has by lot number, color, and vehicle type. Using the SUMIFS function, we can answer the question of how many red vehicles are there in total. So we'll go to the cell where we want to do our calculation, and then we'll use the equal sign, then start to type in our function SUMIFS. So I'll double click it, and it's gonna ask for our sum range. So this is the range of cells that we want to add up. And then use the comma to move on to our criteria range. So our criteria range is going to be the color. And then our criteria is going to be red. Then I hit enter. And then that gives us the answer 36. So it's going to be adding the rows where the color is red. Now functions are extremely useful because if we needed to see how many black vehicles there were, we could simply type in the color black and then immediately see the results. So in this case, we're only adding numbers where the color is black. By knowing what to expect from questions about Excel during a job interview, you can better prepare and build your confidence. In general, Excel questions focus on the most important aspects like functions, formulas, pivot tables, and data formats. If there's a specific topic that you want to see in a future video, let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in the next video.